Conservation Collaboratives. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 372. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. One Community is bringing together people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet to build sustainable and self replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. This is our May 10th, 2020 edition of our weekly progress update. And today's topic that I'd like to discuss is conservation collaboratives. One community is building seven different sustainable village models and later an industry example to demonstrate what's possible with conservation collaboratives. And we're open sourcing and we're free sharing everything that we're creating. And you can see examples of this in the background <clears throat> of the video here right now. And so we're open sourcing and free sharing everything you can see there as a pathway to creating a global cooperative, a global collaborative of conservation collaboratives working together to create a better world for everybody. And so what we've done and what we're doing is we're open sourcing and free sharing all the tools, the tutorials, the resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for teacher demonstration hubs. And the teacher demonstration hubs are designed to teach other people how to create teacher demonstration hubs as well. But it's not just for that. We're also open sourcing and free sharing everything as individual components so that the specifics, the individual aspects of the project can all be replicated by themselves. So for instance, somebody might not want to build a complete eco village. They might just want to build an earth bag home or a straw bale home or a cob home or a shipping container home. And so we're open sourcing and free sharing everything along the way so people can do that. And not just the housing, of course, we're doing it for the food infrastructure, the energy infrastructure. Somebody might just want to plant a garden. Somebody might just want to grow something that they've never grown before or make a meal that they've never made before. And so as we build out the menus for one community, we will be open sourcing those meals for all the stuff that we grow. As we continue to run the education program for one community, we'll be open sourcing and free sharing the specific lesson plans so that people remotely can access those lesson plans and be able to use them themselves. And so everything that we're doing we're open sourcing and free sharing, and not just the education, the fulfilled living practices, the economic models, the true earth stewardship, all of that is being open sourced and, and free shared as a foundation for conservation collaboratives to build off of and to create their own versions of one community, their own evolutions, hopefully even better versions of it, and for those that are interested to contribute their, their changes, their adaptations, their iterations back to the global cooperative, back to the global collaborative and the global suite of open source and free shared tools and resources so other people have even more options. And we've, created, we've already created the infrastructure on our website to be able to promote other people's projects as they contribute their changes and modifications back in to be able to share what they're doing as well so that people have one place where they can go, they can get all the information, and then they can see all the different places that's being applied around the world. And so we're creating custom software for this, <clears throat> to track all of this, to manage all this for the collaboration, the cooperation, and all of the infrastructure, everything needed to apply this and to build it as the prototype so that people have a place that they can come and visit and experience what one community is. And everything that they see will be open source and free shared so that they can replicate it if they want to or build off of it if they want to on their own. This is our idea for conservation collaboratives and how to create them so that they're easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate them as attractive enough, as a fun enough, enjoyable enough, better way of living so that people will want to spread this idea all over the world. This is our idea for world change within our lifetime. And, this is, and by doing this, by making it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrating the experience of living in one community as attractive enough so that the idea will spread its own, we can transform this world within our lifetime. To one that is sustainable. And we don't need everybody to participate, but it's possible to do that. If you take a self-replicating model, the idea that one community inspires two more communities the next year, and those three working together can inspire another four the year after that, and those seven working together then inspire another eight after that, and then 16, and then 32, and 64, you do that for 30 years, and you could include the entire population of the planet. But we don't need the entire population. 
Conservation collaborators working together, just five or ten percent of the population involved in something like that would positively impact the lives of people everywhere. This is what one community is doing. Will we achieve that goal? We don't know, but we know that if we make it easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough, it's possible to. And so that's what we're focusing on, is creating these environments that are replicable, that are affordable, and provide a way of living that is significantly more fun and enjoyable, more time to spend with people's friends and families, more time to do the things that you want all within walking distance. Everything is run on a resource-based economy, so it doesn't cost anything to, to participate in all the different activities, all of this in one place. So more things to do with your time, more time to do the things that you want, and a pathway to becoming financially free of debt because it runs on the ecotourism model that the more you share it, the more revenue it generates, the more it spreads on its own, and the whole thing is run by volunteer labor because everybody that's living there has an ownership in the experience itself, like a club med or a cruise ship owned by everybody that works on it. Only this is an ecotourism destination that has all the recreation everything built into it. So that's our idea for conservation collaboratives. And everything you see happening in the background of the video here is about that. It's pieces of that, the different components. This is how one community is creating world change, and this is how we're inviting everybody to participate. So with that said, this is what we're up to. Stick around for a couple more minutes to see it's a little more specifics on each of the different components of our project. If you're interested, get involved. And, uh, of course, until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. The next component is highest good education. This component is complete and pretty much ready to launch once we're on the property. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.